Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up Bungie Cord for Minecraft 1.5.2. This should work on later versions of Minecraft, you'll just need to download the updated version of Bungie Cord. So first off, we're going to need to go into our browser here and head on to spygotmc.org. This is going to be the site where you're going to download Bungie Cord. So once you get to this site, um, you're going to want to click on the Forums tab. Um, I'll have a link to this in the description so you don't need to go through all this, but, um, okay. So when you're in the forums here, you can go down here, you'll see a bungee cord category. Um, click on that, and then you should see this main thread by MD5, uh, it says bungee cord, and it should say the current Minecraft version that bungee cord works on. So if you go to the first page of this thread, um, you'll be able to download bungee cord. So you can see a download button right here. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Um, it should bring you to the Jenkins. Um, you can just download the latest build. It shouldn't matter. Um, I've already got a build downloaded. I will actually download the updated one. I'm not, I don't think I have the updated one. So why don't we do that? Um, okay, it's a bit slow. Um, while also that's downloading, I'm just going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to just set it up on a Windows computer. It is a bit more complicated if you're going to be setting it up on Linux. You have to create like a start script or something. Um, and yeah, I'll also show you guys how to configure multiple servers with it. Um, and it doesn't seem to be downloading very fast, so I'm just going to let it be for now. Um, okay, so let's bring over the, this thing here. So I've got my bungee cord file. Um, in here is my bungee cord server, so bungeecord.jar. I've created this batch file, which will basically launch the jar file. Um, inside the batch file, there is the following code, um, well, following text or whatever. Um, so I'll paste this in the description as well, so you can just create a batch file with that. Um, if I run the batch file now, and I'll drag it over here, as you can see, it started bungee cord. Um, it's created all these new files, uh, the plugins directory, so you can get bungee cord plugins, which is really neat. Um, but the main thing we're going to work with is the config.yml. So you can just open that with um, your favorite your favorite uh, text editor or whatever. Let me just close these other things I've got open in, um, in um, Notepad. All right, so now we've got this open. So here is the bungee cord config. So we're going to want to set the max players on our server. Um, so why, oops. Um, so for now, well, let's just put it at 100. Um, I don't, my computer can't hold that many, but we'll just put it at that for now. Now we're going to have the host. So this is the IP address that the players connecting to your server are going to connect to. Um, so let's say you have this on your server. You just enter local host because um, they're connecting to the local host. So 0.0.0.0, that's local host. And for the port, we're going to just put it at 25565 because that is the default port for Minecraft. Tab size doesn't really matter. That's just how big the list is when you press um, tab of players. Uh, force default server. That'll basically make it so you always go to the default server upon login and you won't go to the server you were last on. Um, so why don't we enable that actually. I'm um, also up here the fallback server. Uh, I'm actually not sure that I think that's um, what happens when a another server like restarts you'll get kicked to the fallback server. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Um, anyway it's not that big of a deal I don't believe. Um, texture size that's I believe if you're just having a custom texture the MOTD. Um, let's set this. I'll show you guys how to do a colored message of the day as well. Um, I think you can go like that. And then let's just say test message. Yay. And you got to put it in those little quote things. So, yeah. All right. Now we have the default server. Let's just set that as lobby. Forced host. Don't need to worry about that since I'm just doing it on my local host. I don't think it matters. Um, okay. So, servers. This is where we're going to add all of our different servers. So, our first server, lobby. Um, let's put it on the port 25566 because we can't have it on the same port as the um, bungee cord server itself. That will not work. Um, and restricted, let's just put that as false. Um, don't want to put that as true. Okay, so down here we've got permissions. Um, there's You can have little groups in bungee cord. And let's say I wanted to make myself an admin. I could go and type my Minecraft name there and then the group is admin. Um, but normally everyone will have the server command and the list command. Um, and then admins will have the alert and IP and reload commands. 
tab list here is um, I have it under global ping so that'll basically show everybody on all the servers when you press tab it won't show the people on your specific server um, there is another mode if I can go back here uh, I can't remember it off the top of my head um, yeah you guys would be able to find that though somewhere on that thread I believe um, online mode we're gonna want that as true of course unless we want cracked user joining our server if your server is a cracked server then I guess go ahead and make that false um, timeout, I wouldn't mess with that if I were you. Um, so let's just go ahead and save that now. Um, and actually, forgot one more thing we need to do. We're going to add another server because I'm going to be doing with this with uh, two servers. So let's just go and go like that. And let's just name this server, server. So this one, we will change the port to 25567 because 25566 is already in use. So everything looks good in the config for Bungie Gord. So now let's go back to our uh, server one. All right. So this is just a freshly generated um, SpyGot thing. You can use Craft Bucket or SpyGot. Um, if you don't want SpyGot, is it is basically just a um, better performance version of Craft Bucket. All the normal plugins work on it, so I really recommend you guys use it if you uh, if you can. Um, so let's go ahead into the bucket.yml. So we have the con con er, the connection throttle. This is very important. If you don't do this, it won't work. So we need to go and change the connection throttle from 4,000 to negative 1. That is very important. Don't forget to do that. Um, now in server.properties, we're going to want to set our um, port to 25566 because that is the port Bungie cord is going to try to connect us to. And then we need to go and set online mode to false. Now, you may be thinking, people might people are going to go and join my server now with uh, cracked users. But actually, um, since they're going to be connecting to your Bungie Cord server, they aren't supposed to be connecting to your servers by themselves. So you can get an IP whitelisting plugin that um, that um, only allows people to connect to your, uh, like your actual bucket servers with the IP of your server itself. That's what I did on my server, and it works pretty well. Um, there, I believe there is a plugin on SpyGot, um, or well, on the website there that can do that for you. Uh, so let's go into server two now and configure this one. So again, we have to go into the bucket uh, .yml, change the connection throttle to negative one. Server dot properties um, two five five six seven for the port, and online mode needs to be false. So there we go. Now if I go over here. I'm going to have to start up, okay, the bungee cord server, I'm going to end that. So we type end, that'll stop it. Um, so we're going to go bungee, start bungee again. Um, I'll try to bring these all in here. Um, and then we're going to go over here, server, start. Um, so we got the server, the first server there starting up now. And we go to the second server, start that up too. And that should start all fine. So now if I bring over my Minecraft here, I'm um, going to go direct connect, and we're going to go to local host. Now if we connect to local host, it should work, hopefully. Now it has it worked. I'm going to just check out what is wrong here. All right, guys. So um, I just found the issue I had. I actually, in my... um. My start.bat for my uh, two servers there, I just had an extra line there. It was um, the dash O true. I don't know why I had it in there, but it basically was rewriting the uh, server.properties each time I started the server, and therefore uh, setting online mode to true, and it wouldn't allow me to join. So I fixed that now. So now I'm in Minecraft. I've got all my servers started up. If I just put them over here, um, there we go. So now if I go into Minecraft, and then go to connect to localhost, I will be put onto the lobby server, which is the first one. Um, up here, you can see um, that I connected right there. Um, and you can also see in the bungee cord console that I, has con I have connected. So now we're on the um, lobby server. So let's say we want to teleport to um, our other server that we set up. So the command we need to type for that is slash server says you may connect to the following servers at this time lobby and server so we've tried to site type um, slash server lobby should say yeah we cannot connect to the server we are already on so that means we're already on the lobby server which is good because that was the one i set to 
join on default. So now if we type slash server, server, really awesome name, I know, um, we will basically be put onto the second server. Now it's a different map, everything, it's completely different, different server. So we could have different plugins running on here. Um, you could have like, I don't know, factions on one, Hunger Games on the other, something like that. And uh, yeah, um, so of course you can download some plugins for Bungie Cord. Uh, you can set up portals or signs to teleport users between servers so they don't have to type the command, of course. It makes it a lot easier. And um, yeah, it's overall, this Bungie Cord is a really amazing software. Um, so yes, yeah, thanks to MD5 for uh, making it. Um, if you guys have any questions about installing Bungie Cord, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. Um, and yeah, if you have any other requests for Bungie Cord related tutorials, like I don't know how to set up, how to install plugins on it or something, just let me know and I'll get right at making those. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like rating and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.